there is a new player in town named R. The R brand is made by Rongwei, who is owned by SAIC, or formerly known as the Shanghai Automotive Industry Corporation, who is the second largest automaker in China and the 12th largest in the world. They are also state owned by the Chinese government. So this is the R brand logo and they will be purely 100% EV only. And they are entering the market to contend with the likes of Xiaopeng, Neo, BYD and similar priced cars in the market. So we'll uh, have a look now, we'll go into a little uh, display shop and we'll have a look at their cars and their brand and see if they have what it takes. Now all their cars are like most EVs, they're fully autonomous, have autonomous capabilities and generally the, the charging and, and all the stats are reasonably close together but I don't really get into that side of things so let's have a look. I'll have a look here, this is the 2021 version. <clears throat> It's quite a nice size sedan, uh, way bigger than the, like the Tesla Model 3 and uh, a little bit larger than the Xiaopeng as well. It has the full sunroof like most uh, new EV cars have now. Yeah, it looks alright, so I'll jump inside and have a look at the interior. Okay, inside. Uh, I'm, I'm about six foot, uh, about 90 kilos, give you an uh, idea. So 360 degree cameras, you can see this is that, that bloke there, and he's on the, the display just here. Uh, nice size uh, mid screen. So, uh, it's okay, no one thing. No one thing. So, um, it's not bad, I prefer maybe the more horizontal sort of ones. Your standard cup holder. Another little box thing there. The finishings are quite nice, like inside. It's, it seems like quite a nice quality, nice feel for the, the leather. Nice leather feel. The seats are nice and comfortable. Plenty of headroom. Uh, I've got at least, oh no, five, six inches for my head. Okay, in the back. Yeah, the leg room's all right. Like the front seat is back as far as it can go. Uh, I got clearance for my knees, though my feet are sort of touching the bottom of the chair. But if, if it's just for children, it'd be no problem. Yeah, all, all in all, it seems okay. Got your standard USB charges. I won't go in the depth of that sort of stuff because that's not really what I'm into. I just really just want to show you the car itself. Okay, that's a little front on view. So the starting price is around, I believe, about 160,000 RMB for the basic sort of model and up to about 240 for the, that's for the sedan. And they have an SUV as well. Uh, I'm only in the shopping center, you see. So this is just like a, a little display. They have been shopping centers, uh, it's quite common. And the SUV is about 260 for like the, the top end sort of uh, model car. 260,000 RMB that is. This is your home charging station. Uh, you can have a 40 minute fast charge or a 11 hour overnight charge. So um, there's a lot of competition entering in. I uh, just saw a BMW and a VW. Uh, in the mall, maybe I'll quickly go take a look at those as well. And uh, the EV scene's definitely heating up. So yeah, these people are going to put a bit of pressure on uh, like Neo and Xiaopeng because uh, the Rao name brand, SAIC, is very popular in China. Okay, this is their uh, SUV. <clears throat> it's outside. This is like a, a test drive model. I don't want to test drive, so I didn't ask them to come outside with me. Uh, it's not bad. It's um, a decent size SUV. Like I said, I'll have a look. I doubt it'd be open. Nah. Thought maybe they might open it. So um, we'll see how they go. 
So I'm just walking out of the, the shopping mall. So this is sort of a bonus segment. BMW, this is a nice size SUV. Go, okay, just make this one as quick as I can. I think my missus is always trying to get into all my videos. Nice size SUV. Three hundred and seventy thousand RMB. So it's only right about it. Basically, another ninety or a hundred thousand on top of the cars we've just looked at. Let's quickly jump in and have a quick look in it. Okay, there is a big difference here. The leg room, like that chair, is is fully back. I had my leg stretched out in the front passenger seat. I've got ample room, and this this is at least six to eight inches of headroom and the, the, fish, the finishing in the car is superb it's what you get from BMW uh, there, the heads up display is much smaller but you can definitely feel a big change in quality uh, even though the other car was quite nice but uh, nothing like this this model is the i uh, x3 uh, it's a very nice car I must say this is if I was had to pay an extra 90,000 kwai I would definitely be buying this car over uh, the Neo the Xiaopeng or the, the R of what we just saw but we know that the German makers they make great cars and this is like I've said in my other videos this is going to be the big challenge for the Chinese makers trying to keep up with this uh, standard of uh, finishings and car. Right, double bonus, I'm just opposite where we were just looking at the BMW. Uh, they do this quite often in Chinese shopping centers. I'll just put these uh, little um, displays and I'll have them for like a week or something and just uh, showpiece like the latest models. So here we can see VW uh, for this SUV, nice size SUV. Uh, around 230,000 RMB. Uh, about a hundred and forty thousand cheaper than the uh, BMW but we'll jump inside because we know you get what you pay for pretty much for cars so we'll uh, have a look yeah uh, the back leg room is great a lot of headroom again every EV must this must be a standard thing the full sunroof I tell you what the competition like these cars you can buy this BMW this VW for 230,000 for this particular car this year, this year's model we just saw for that BMW the price so um, yeah the competition's just De these uh, European makers they're just really stepping up their game now so the next uh, few years is going to be very very interesting okay so inside it's it's definitely not as flash it's a bit more basic than the uh, BMW we just saw the display heads up display is actually quite small the camera makes it look bigger than it is and the same for this display it's quite small as well uh, the finishing is quite nice like the interior itself is, is quite nice a lot of leg room 